Got another Mailbag Monday video here for you. Hope everybody had a safe and Merry Christmas. And a happy upcoming New Year. We got five envelopes and let's see what we got in them. And I'm going to start with this large one here first. Okay. Huh. It's a birthday card. Really confused me. I'm nobody's daughter. <laughs> okay. I was a bit confused there for a little bit. All right. Really confused. And what I have here is a Tennessee Valley Railroad ticket from the East Junction, Tennessee station to the East Chattanooga area. And this was punched. Now when we went to Chattanooga a couple months ago, we actually rode the train here. Did a little tour and then went to the uh, little roundhouse turntable. It was pretty neat. And, uh, they didn't have tickets back then. You just kind of showed up and I think they gave like a little armband or something. It might be a ticket, but it wasn't like this. So I saw this on, on eBay. I thought it'd be pretty interesting to get. I mean, it's, it's just a piece of kind of cardstock. You can tell there the uh, date it was used. So it, it, you know, it wasn't, wasn't much money wise, but I just thought it was something kind of unique and a little bit something to go my little scrapbook got going on with postcards and everything. So, yeah, not a postcard, but still pretty neat. And up next, we got this medium sized envelope, a little longer envelope here. Kind of thick. So, let's see what we got in here. I'm gonna tell you this right now, just by looking at this, this is the first time I've gotten one of these hard, hard plastic postcard holders. Pretty interesting. Anyways, so what this is is the Pascagoula Travel Lodge. Tell you a little bit more about it there. Now, actually, this is still there. Now, it's not called the Pascal Travel Lodge anymore. I forgot what it's called. But a uh, lady bought it here a couple years ago and kind of gave a little renovation and everything. And had a somewhat popular restaurant there that they redid and they did a little catering and stuff like that and a couple of, you know, company you know, meetings and dinners and stuff like that in it. But uh, it's there in pretty much the same form. You know, this building's changed a little bit. I know they did some remodeling after Katrina because I went in there and brought them a whole bunch of cabinets and stuff here years ago. Um, as far as time-wise, I'm going to guess this is probably the 60s or 70s. Kind of hard to tell by looking at the cars. Those look like 60s era cars. Those is fairly old because this zip code is no longer that. This is, uh, I think that's in 39581. Anyways, definitely old because we don't use the uh, 601 area code down here. It's a 228 area code. And that changed in the 80s, I believe it was. So, pretty interesting. I think I, I got another postcard of this um, hotel. But didn't see too many like this. So, I decided I need to get this one too. And if you follow this channel along for a while here, you know where this one comes from. Good old refried jeans. And now I can safely cut this one open. Because they use the same envelopes every time. Tried and true. And 
Yeah, I got one in one card from him this time. Hmm. This is the uh, Longfellow house here in my hometown. This photograph is um, 70s, possibly the 80s. Now, um, real quick backstory: it used to be a um, oh summer home or somebody for uh, Henry Wadsworth Longfellow back in the uh, Civil War days and all that stuff. Now, present day, all of this stuff on the side, this was added on later on. And now it's privately owned house by a doctor. And sometime in the last 20 years, all this was taken out. So, um, the date on it is 1958. I don't know if you can get that to focus in, but this was actually a 1958, so pretty good condition for uh, the age of it and this kind of kind of uh rounds out the uh collection i have of this particular place i haven't seen too many other ones besides this one but when i seen it come up i had to grab hold of this one got a pretty good deal on it and up next here we have another one from one of my tried and true sellers old crow's nest postcards they kind of use the same envelope, so it was... Throw a little slice down the side here. You can always tell the professional postcard sellers over the uh, quote-unquote amateur sellers because post the uh, professional ones, if you will, they seem to package their cards just a little bit better sometimes. Invoice. One of our little postcards themselves. Got a couple of them in here. Now I'm not sure what this is. Let's take a look at the back. Mobile Motor Lodge. Located at 3939 Highway 90 West, Mobile, Alabama. This one is postmarked 1960, if you can see it there in the center. Now, as far as this being there, I'm really not sure. I'm not sure if this is in the um, older part of expansion of Mobile, down there towards what's called Tillman's Corner. Or if it's in the downtown, downtown area by the uh, river, but... uh. It's just something local and uh, next door to Howard Johnson's restaurant. Howard Johnson's restaurant, there was just one and it closed eh, about a year ago. I guess what? Well, I actually just seen a video about it. So, anyways, I'd, I'd never seen one like this of this particular hotel. So, you know, I don't have any physical or mental connection with it, but I figured it's just something interesting to get a hold of and keep hold of the history of it. And out of that same package, Thunderbird Inn. Where is that located at? It's in Mobile too, on the causeway. Um, the causeway is the area between Mobile and Spanish Fort. Um, it's basically um, Highway 90 that goes across the Mobile Bay um, out there in the, the marshy area. And right beside uh, the new I-110, this is... Um, when this was relevant, 110, or I-10, excuse me, was not even there. And to be honest with you, I don't even think this is even there anymore. If it is, it's definitely not in this shape or form. There's been a couple of hotels out there on that uh, that area that the uh, hurricanes get a hold of, the floodwaters get a hold of. The whole Mobile Bay is very shallow, and when the um, uh, storm surge come through, it, it, it tears up a lot of the buildings, and I think most if not all the buildings out there now are on stilts to uh, prevent the damage of them so but anyways like i said that this is another one of those where i've uh, don't have a physical connection with the uh property or the building the restaurant but just a piece of old mobile history kind of local to me and it was you know i had to get all of it and last but not least this one comes from a 
private seller there in out of Mobile, Alabama. We got a little theme going on here. Mobile, Alabama seems to be the theme of the, the week. And notice I get on a little kicks where I'll just search different areas and local areas and see what I can come up with. All right, so this is more explains a little bit about the uh, Mobile Causeway, kind of with the uh, previous postcard just opened up. All this right here is I-10. It comes out of the uh, tunnel, and there's another tunnel just to the north of it for Highway 90. It comes underneath it and comes right. This this is the causeway here. This is the Highway 90 causeway. And somewhere in here is those restaurants and stuff. And that white building right there, that was a Holiday Inn at one time. It is gone. Um, never stayed there, but it was always interesting how it was you know, kind of the only hotel out in this area. I don't know why it was even out in this area. And if you look right out here, it's kind of hard to tell. But right there in that area there, that is the USS Alabama that me and my daughter go to probably every once a year or so. It's just interesting. Um, this highway 90 continues over this way and 110 kind of loops back around. They've kind of parallel each other back and forth. There's some other businesses out in this area here. But uh, with that previous um, postcard here, this restaurant here, if I was guessing, I'm going to say at one point it was in this area here. Now, time-wise for this, I'm going to say um, probably 80s. Just guessing, probably 80s. Um, yeah. Because out here in this park... It's um, they got some trees and stuff that are planted out there now. They've been out there for probably 15 20 years, maybe even more than that. And this hotel, this was taken down after Katrina and everything, so it's an interesting little you know relic of history that you, some of the stuff you'll never see again unless you have photographs and postcards. Well, I don't have any photographs and I wasn't around a lot of the times back in these days, so postcards are a pretty cool way to, to you know remember the history of the areas. All right, so that completes today's Mailbag Monday video. Most of these postcards were all local to me, except for this one little little trinket of history from Tennessee out there in Chattanooga. A lot of the stuff is from Mobile and a couple from Pascagoula, so it's all within about a 30 mile radius of each other. All local hometown postcards, things of the past, things that don't longer exist in different forms, and pretty sure they don't exist. So. Overall, just a little interesting local mailbag Monday. It's kind of weird how, like I said before, that I go in a little spell while I just start searching out local areas and postcards, and you never know. I just I just buy about four or five at a time, and so that's kind of what I came up with here recently. But anyways, I hope everybody has a safe and happy new year. Watch out for those fireworks. Keep all your fingers. I appreciate y'all watching. We'll see you next time.